Koku. Kojo, you can, you can uh, share your thoughts on, on that now. Because the, the accusations have been made, I wanted Mr. Janapo to at least share what his specific thinking was on that. Uh, Kojo, over well, to you. Let me, look, Jensa is an IPP. So that is why everybody is saying that if you are doing that for Jensa, you should do that for other companies. Jensa is an independent power producing company. They produce power and sell to the mining companies. They are like Ameri, they are like Car Power, they are like, um, what do you call it, Car Power and uh, Asogli. The difference between Asogli, Car Power, and Jensa is that Jensa builds these power plants for the mines. They generate the power using gas and sell it to the mining companies. So you cannot classify them as an industrial company when they are an IPP because the license they have from Energy Commission is an IPP company. So that is the clarification I wanted to give. Uh, they, that is why you can't classify them as an industrial company. They are an IPP. So per the contractual ag agreement then, if they are classified as an industrial company, automatically there's a problem. It's wrong. You can't do that. It's wrong. H how did we end yeah, up here then? Saying, how did we end up here then with this, with this classification? Okay, so let me, let me explain. Let me explain further, okay? So let's understand what Jensa is. Jensa is a company that's been operating as far back as 2012. They have plants in the mines that they put in there, and they've been using LPG and other source to generate gas, for, uh, to generate power for the LH, for the mining companies during the Doomso era, okay? Now, along the line, when Ghana Gas built the pipeline from um, the Aboise to Pristia, it means that gas was now available closer to where their customers were or where their customers are. So when the gas got to Pristia, um, Jensa now went into a contractual agreement with Ghana Gas to obtain the power from Pristia and extend it to their customers. But this is where it gets a bit uh, tricky. There was a letter from Energy Commission in 2019. Now, at all points, Jensa have seeked to get discount because they are saying that, look, we are building the transmission lines to our customers. And because we are building the transmission line to our customers, you should give us a bit of a discount or we are going to use more gas than any other person. It's a business. It's a private man. He always wants the best for his customers. So he asks them for a discount. It's not a problem. They wrote to Energy Commission in 2019. And Energy Commission told um, Ghana Gas that they cannot give a discount to um, Jensa because um, everybody has to buy on the weighted average because it's a regulated market. GMPC, who owns the gas, takes the gas at a take or pay from ENA. So you cannot deregulate it and let everybody go about it the way they want it. So there is a letter which from Energy Commission explains that you cannot give the gas out discounted. But they now put a caveat and said that, look, even if you want to give a discount, that discount has to be a refund for the investment that they are making. So this is what it means.